Hey everybody, this is uh, Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. How are you guys doing today? Hey, I got another video in my uh, Top Best Youth Football Defenses video series. Uh, today we're going to defend the spin motion fullback direct dive. That's a play that is number eight on what I think are some of the top ten youth football plays in youth football. That was an article over at CoachParker.org. Uh, we did the video on the offensive play last week, I believe. Excuse me. And this week we're going to do how to defend this play, which is uh, pretty simple for uh, most of the uh, misdirection plays. But, uh, hey, before we get into that, get some business. If you could uh, subscribe to my channel right now, there's a red button down there. Uh, that would be great. YouTube uh, gives a lot of extra oomph to uh, channels that have a lot of subscribers. And uh, if you want to support me, it doesn't cost you anything, just subscribe and then a little bell will come up. And if you'll hit that again to notify you, those two things really help me out a ton on YouTube. So if you've liked my videos and like what I'm doing, please subscribe and hit that notify button down there. That would be a huge help. Uh, so let's get right into the, to the drill video now. Uh, so here is the play that uh, we went over last week, and this is going to be the play that we defend. And basically they're in a two-by-two two spread here. Uh, fullback's kind of up. He actually takes a direct snap, and uh, he he's off. The quarterback will do a fake to the motion back going the other way. So it's, it's basically a misdirection play. This was... In, uh, for my youth football team, that was 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, about 10 years ago. We ran this play quite a bit out of this spread formation and a tight formation, which I call speed, where the quarterback's under the center. Uh, this was our like our third best play. We averaged like six yards a carry. Of course, I had two really big uh, four backs that uh, ran these plays for me. So they were definitely tier one uh, fullbacks, and uh, they did really well uh, with this particular play. So if you've got a big fullback, big halfback that can run this, uh, then, uh, yeah, you could probably play this. But let's, let's get into how to defend it, because that's what we're talking about today. So, you know, the 6-2 wide tackle in my uh, Parker's Pirate 6-2 uh, multi-8 youth football defense, the 6-2 wide tackle is the base defense, and I run this pretty much all the time on teams that I know that really can't complete passes. Now, you may see in youth football a lot of teams that will get out in a spread, but if you watch film or scout them, at least in our league, and shoot, I know my sons have both go, gone through junior and high school here in Texas, and they run a lot of spread. Uh, you know, they just wasn't a lot of completions, both in junior high, high school, and definitely youth football. So, you know, you may run into a team that has a good quarterback and receiver and make those completions, and you have to kind of adjust a little bit. But if I'm not seeing over about a 20% completion rate, I'm probably not coming out of a base defense into more of a passing defense to deal with the spread just because I like how my DNs and everybody else uh, can just rapidly uh, get to the quarterback. So, because, you know, the best pass rush, I mean, the best pass defense, pass coverage is really the rush. So uh, we, we try to put a lot of pressure on young quarterbacks, which really uh, helps us. So... Here's how to defend this play in the 6-2 wide tackle. Everybody, you know, in, in any type of misdirection play, and when people are running, you know, like wing T uh, motion and a jet motion and the spin motion and double wing motion and line, I mean, they're really trying to get your backs, your D-backs and linebackers to watch so they can run these misdirection plays. So everybody's got to be really gap and assignment sound. And that's really what I got down here in green. You know, when you play a team that runs kind of these funky mixed direction, uh, which is a lot of this double wing spin, offense, spinner type stuff in the single wing, 
you really have to teach your team to stay home, play their assignment, uh, and be assignment or gap sound. And uh, that's how you can uh, defend these. And so like this in the 6-2 wide, you can see uh, my D end is going to go up. Uh, we play, you know, one yard deep in the quarterback. If you see the ball go down, which he's going to see that ball drop. So he'll fall back uh, into the fullback there and should get it. The tackle is going to play C gap. He should squeeze that tackle into the fullback there. Uh, and the Mike linebacker is really reading that BC area. So uh, those three guys, along with the Fred here in the corner on that side, should be able to pick this guy up for really no more than three yards if they've stayed home and not gone crazy. And that's really what you're looking for. But, you know, with most youth football uh, defenses that, that are fast, uh, and highly uh, experienced youth football players, they usually will over-pursue. Uh, so these these misdirection plays get them. So, uh, you know, you've really got to teach your guys. And we do a lot of scouting, and that's I, – I highly recommend scouting. Uh, we Our league hires a guy to videotape all the games for us. If you don't have that, you know, you should be having a dad or friend scout for you and videotaping the other teams because if you really want to be a championship team within your league, you're you're probably going to need to do that. Uh, it's just so beneficial because that will tell you uh, their top five plays running and their top three or five plays passing, and you kind of know what they're doing. So here's that play. Like I said, it's just player assignments. Now let's say that they're, you know, they've, they're a little bit better passing team. The 5-2 Monster or Dragon is is another defense that's in my book that we morph into uh, out of the 6-2 um, the wide tackle. So this is one of the 8 and the 6-2 Multi-8. And it's the 5-2. Uh, I played this in high school. And you see it's assignment stuff again. The uh, DN Sam will go up. The tackle is going to basically bull rush that tackle right back into that hole. The gunner over here is now dropped back into linebacker from a nose guard. And he's reading what's going on here, playing gap sound. And the uh, rover, uh, who basically, because they're, the fullback is in the middle there, he's basically like playing a middle kind of linebacker there. And he's reading what's going on there, and he's flowing too. So again, it's really... Stay home, play your assignments, do what you're told. There's nothing real special uh, that you need to do on that other than making sure you tell your backside of the motion when these teams like to run misdirection. And anytime I see a team running a lot of motion, I'm worried about misdirection play. So we go over, stay home, be patient, take a drop, read step. Uh, don't just bail on the first step because they're going to catch you. And this, uh, like we used to catch a lot of people on this play. So that's how to defend that. Now, if they're a really heavy passing team and you run a 4-3, this defense, and this is in the uh, 6-2 multi-8 defense, is kind of my 12-year-old, 11-year-old uh, pass defense. I call it pick six because we're we're set up for pass on this. And, uh, you know, these these. This team may be a heavy passing team, and this is a play that they run. Once again, stay home, play your assignments. Uh, you've got the tackle, uh, you know, or the, basically the DN now, uh, who's outside kind of playing contain responsibilities along with your your outside linebackers there. They're responsible for that, that particular play right there. You've got the Mike backer and the Rover who's back in coverage, but... You know, uh, since I've got Fred over there, there's no rotation there, so the rover's sitting there also. So really, if uh, people stay home and play their assignments, that's taken care of. Now, which defense of these three do I like best to attack this play? Uh, for youth football and where I'm at in my particular league, uh, if they're not completing you know, or throwing really more than five or seven passes, and completing maybe one or two of those. I'm probably not pulling out of the 6-2. Um, 
And if they're really, really good and doing a lot of goofy stuff, I may run into the 5-2 and have my monster uh, go to a stronger wide side, which is what we've done. Uh, so that's kind of where I do. But, uh, yeah, if they're not really a pass, if they're, if they're in a spread and they're a running spread team, I'm probably playing kind of a 6-2, 6-3 hybrid where the Fred is a, is a monster back and moving up. And maybe I'll pull the gunner out and have him go to a particular area. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, so what do I do? If they're passing, I'm running a 4-3. If they're running, I'm running a 6-2. So that's and if they do a little bit of both. So basically what I got there, I guess. So uh, hopefully you guys got that. Uh, so, yeah, so that's it. So that's how we defend that play. And it really comes home to the thing in the green. Stay home, play your assignment, uh, and uh, you guys will be fine. Don't let your team over-pursue. Hey, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. That is another video in the top best youth football defense video series. This is how to defend the spin motion fullback direct dive play. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what you could do. Uh, please comment if you'd like to get some more information on my defense or if you've got a question about what we went over in the video. Like I said earlier, if you subscribe and hit the notify button, man, that's a big deal. doesn't cost you anything to do. If you'd like to support me more, uh, you can certainly buy one of my playbooks over at CoachParker.org, the Power Wing Beast Offense, and the 6-2 uh, Multi-8 Youth Football Defense. They're over at CoachParker.org for sale right now. You can get them in digital and in print. So, uh, once again, this is Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. Remember to play for fun, and winning is funner. You guys have a great season. Ciao, and see you next time.